Hey everybody, today we're going to be adding something a little bit extra special to your stream to help it stand out and also a great way to kick off some hype right at the end of the stream before you go raiding someone. What is it you ask? Well, we're going to be adding stream credits for free. How do I have stream credits you ask? Well, it's a simple matter of using OBS, which you're probably already using for your stream. And we're going to be using the Mix It Up tool, which is free software, which allows a whole number of different things. We're going to be using very specifically the Mix It Up overlay, and we're going to be adding a widget for the stream credits that you can call with a simple command. Let's get started. We're going to be showing you how to set up the Mix It Up overlay, which is what will be showing your stream credits uh, widget. Uh, so you're going to go into Mix It Up. Uh, I've already signed in, but um, if you've just installed the program, you'll need to sign in with your Twitch account. Um, and then from there, you click the three line button over here, which opens up the main menu in Mix It Up. Firstly, we're going to be looking at making sure the overlay is properly set up in OBS. So you want to be going down to the services option. And then once you're in the services option, you want to look at the overlay right at the top. Uh, as you can see here, it gives you a URL to then put into a browser so you can actually see Mix It Up working. You can test it outside of OBS going to load OBS. You've probably done this a thousand times before, but we'll cover it just to be sure. Uh, you want to go into add browser and inside the browser, we're going to call this our uh, mix it up overlay just so we know what it is, make it visible. And then what we're going to have is in the URL, we're going to paste in the localhost 8111 overlay URL that mix it up gave us in the options. Uh, we're going to set our width to 1920 and our height to 720. No, we're not. <laughs> 1920 by 108 type 1920 by 1080 obviously if you're uh if you're using a different resolution for your output uh, you could set it to that or you could scale it yes it's important to note that um you need to set well, now that you set the browser source up uh you'll also need to set this checkbox down here which is called refresh browser uh when scene becomes active so it's going to refresh the mix it up overlay when we switch back to this scene that's going to be important later on once we've set everything up um right so the mix it up overlay is now in obs and if we go back to the Mix It Up, uh, Mix It Up app, we make that slightly smaller, uh, so you can see what's going on. Let's make that slightly smaller there. So basically, if we do test connection here, what you should see. So overlay connection was successful, and in OBS you can see there is a connection test just to show you that it's working. Now we know that Mix It Up is correctly connected to OBS. Perfect. So now we need to set up our actual stream credits. How do I add end credits? Well, that is a simple overlay widget. Uh, and if you go back into the menu on the left hand side, you'll see the three lines and then we're going to click on overlay widgets and in overlay widgets, uh, you might have some already. If you are setting this up from scratch, you won't have anything to start with. So we're going to add an overlay widget and in here you'll see an absolute ton of things you can add in. Obviously, mix it up um, is a fully functioned, a fully functioning bot program. It can do so many, so many things. So this <laughs> for this tutorial, we're going to stick to just the end credits. Um, and if I just drag this over, you can see that showing the widget triggers the credits, hiding it resets it. So it's nice and easy to set up. Um, right, here we go. So um, we are going to have uh, a default overlay, which has been set up. That is already targeting our default one. We've just set that up in OBS and we're going to call this. Uh, let's just call this credits. Let's call this credits. Uh, you can set up a few different options here. The scroll speed, uh, what background color you like, um, fonts that you want to use. Also, you can set these to be fonts that match your branding um, or fonts that match your theme in some way. And then you can set a kind of default font sizes for the titles and for the text content in the main sections. Um, so there's a title to start with. Obviously, this one is just sort of stream credits. So again, we could just edit this directly and call it my stream credits. Uh, and you could maybe put in an extra little message. Thank you all for being here, for example. Um, and then what we've got here is now the sections. Now, this is quite nicely set out because you can customize what you show in terms of the interactions. Um, so if you want to prioritize, let's say uh, you might want to uh, you might want to highlight your followers first. So scroll down to new followers and just click the plus button. And straight away, that has added a new section here. So automatically, um, this section will show all new followers that have been recorded for that session. So you won't have to set any of that up. It's nice and easy. So um, that obviously will just use the name new followers. And then underneath here, you've got the name of each follower with the color what I've already set up for you. So that's nice and easy. Uh, and you can just keep adding new sections. So you might want to have posts that might follow followers. Um, and then you might want to have maybe uh, new subscribers. You can add that as another section. So there you can see I've already got three sections, new followers, posts and subscribers. Um, it's using the default fonts that we've selected up here. So you can see we've selected 
uh, our aerial, let's do aerial black as our section text. Uh, and let's set our item text to be, uh, let's set this to be uh, XO2. And we can save that and that'll save those changes. So now you can see we've got an overlay widget called credits. Uh, we've got an overlay, it's set to be on our default overlay that we've already set up in OBS. Um, and if we want to edit the command at any point, we can just go in here and we can see this still set up with the sections and it's going to apply in the center and the screen position is always going to be the center and it's going to have a, uh, let's say a blue gray background just to make it look a little bit differently. And our text color is all going to be white. So we're going to save that one. Um, so what's interesting at this point is if you want to do a test of the overlay, we can do that by simply, uh, if we move mix it up over here to the side, and then if I do the play command, you should see a, a quick test in your OBS. There we can see my stream credits. Thank you for all for being here. New followers. And then you can see each list of the new followers appearing here underneath. Um, and then you can see all the hosts underneath that section. And there's the hosts. And it's as simple as that. We're straight away up, up and running with three different sections. This isn't really very well customized. Obviously, I've just done the basic color and the, the default titles. But straight away, it can work. You're wondering, OK, well, how do we actually run this? in OBS, how do we call this at the end of our stream? Just activate the command. So that's now been enabled. Um, and what happens is every time uh, this is seen, it will trigger the command here. So we can then uh, minimize, mix it up. And then what we might wanna call is just rename this scene to be our credit scene. So let's call that credits, for example. And then what we might have is a new scene, which is our main scene. Right, so now we've set up both scenes. Uh, obviously, you'll be over here on your main scene. This will have your camera. This will have your gameplay on it as usual. Um, and then when you're ready to conclude the stream, you obviously you'll have a hotkey set up. Potentially, you might have your stream deck shortcut set up. And all you'll have to do is switch to the credit scene. And automatically, you can see their OBS has immediately started showing uh, the credits. And that's going to show the credits exactly as you've set up and mix it up. And that's it. And it's all, it's two different programs. They're both for free. It takes five to 10 minutes. To, I mean, we've spent 10 minutes setting that up really quickly and we've got basic stream credits in there. It's as simple as that one. Um, that's how you, how do I get stream credits? Mix it up, one overlay widget, bam, you're done. Nice and easy. If we look back into the, if we go back into our overlay widgets where you can see uh, we can edit those credits. Uh, we go back into our edit command here. Um, as well as viewers here, we've also got, uh, so let's look through these. We've got bits, donations, gifted subs, hosts, moderators, new followers, new subscribers. It's fantastic. There's also free form HTML. Um, so this is a little bit more advanced, but you might want to have a section um, which maybe is just a bit of an extra thank you. So what we could do here is have free form HTML. And here you can see we've got a, uh, again, it's just set up to use the basic things with some text. And it's just where it says free form here, this is where you can type into that. So this is going to change the actual content that shows in this free form HTML box. And that's the bit where you can change the text here. So what you might want to have is a little message just to say uh, when you're next live, uh, see you all. So let's, for example, try out, see you all uh, on Friday uh, live at 6 p.m. for example. You could also use this for social messages, follow me on Twitter, etc. Um, and we can just save that again. Um, and that will then immediately update. We can re-enable the overlay widget. And then if we be check back, so we're back on our main scene, we switch to our credit scene, and then we should see straight away the updated messages um, in the credits. Um, so it'll show our title, it will show the sections that are relevant for the test. Uh, and then right at the end, we'll see our freeform text element, which is there um, in very small lettering, but you can see it there. See you all on uh, see you all on Friday live at 6 p.m. So again, I haven't really put uh, font styling onto that, but if we wanted to, uh, again, we just go back into mix it up. We can edit that font. We can make the uh, can make the text size much bigger, so we can make it like about 60. Our section text could be uh, around 120. I mean, we don't necessarily need to have all the same stuff in here, but uh, and again, here you can see this is where the title, this is where the section title is. So this could be all, um, you know, we could say at the end and we could save that again. That's how you set it all up. Um, it's a remarkably good way to increase uh, a hype at the end of a stream. You know, it's really cool to show the end credits. People, it just polishes the whole experience. Everyone feels like they've been part of a show. And it's another nice way to say thank you to everyone. Um, helps your stream stand out. And yeah, you can get it going in like five to 10 minutes and customize it to your heart's content. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun.
Um, all right, folks. Well, uh, that was our a very quick mix it up tutorial. We've had to set up um, how do you how you get end credits for your stream, how to add end credits. It's OBS. It's mix it up. They're both free, and you can get going in five to ten minutes. Uh, if you've got any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as ever, folks, you can catch me live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 6 p.m. UK time. Uh, the link is below me and, of course, in the description. And if you want to make sure you subscribe for the next notification of when the next video goes live. Take care and I'll see you soon.